Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today we have a little bit of a different mood. Pink sky and gray clouds. So, by the look at this title, you're probably very interested in what I have here to show you. So let's get right on into it. Swag, bitch. Okay there guys, this is an Allenson Chambers early 1960s B110. Don't know much about it, I got it. three of these tractors, not the Allenson Chambers, two 110 John Deere's as well. So this one I'm restoring to its original purpose for a snowblower and a rototiller. Because my tractor, unfortunately, is starting to go. So I need to get this thing working to figure this out. So, don't know much about your older tractors. I just understand that they have a clutch, they have gears, and you can hook up a PTO stuff. Now on this one, I have this here that I don't know what motor mount I need to hook that up to the engine. But what I understand is the shaft comes out the front here. Oh yeah. My camera's full fucked up. So, the shaft, the engine shaft pull comes out the front on another pulley to power the snow blower or whatever else is there. That's from what I understand. Now, besides that, I have another question for you guys, if you guys know anything. This right here, this system, uh, from what I understand, this is the PTO shaft. So if you turn this, it turns with the engine plate up there. And it makes the rear go up and down, well, back and forth. So from what I understand is that that switches gears. But what I don't know is, is this the clutch right here that I'm supposed to maintain? Because it seems like this is the only brake pedal I have on here. And I don't know what it's supposed to exactly do, whether it's supposed to engage or disengage the clutch. Like, I'm trying to figure that out still. So, if somebody could give me a little bit of pointers and shit on this, I would love to help. Um, the only other question what I have is, is there supposed to be a pulley that goes on here to go to this PTO shaft to drive a, another um, thing? Because these don't line up, as you can see. Like, I'm trying to figure that out. And how would that system work? Gonna go from there to there into the back to power another a rotor. That's the only thing I was trying to figure out. Ugh, the seat's a pain in my ass. It's a work in progress, but like that's what I don't know. That's all I understand is that this you switch gears, it doesn't tell you to hit anything. So that's why I was wondering if this is the clutch right here or just a brake. Because that would be just that. But I don't know if that's a clutch or not. I would have to get the engine on here and start figuring it out. But for me to do so, I need to have that. Well, it's getting dark here, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys enjoy the video, I hope you guys can give me some pointers and everything. If any of you have a rototiller attachment for one of these, please let me know. If you're in the tri-state area, from Washington, from... New York, Jersey, Pennsylvania, or Washington, D.C., or Virginia, please give me a call. Shoot me a text. If you've got a rototiller and you need to get rid of it for this Allison Chambers, I am looking for one. Because I'm getting older. My parents are getting, they're not getting any younger. So I need something to rototill the garden every, every year now. So if you guys would be able to point me in the right direction of some stuff I would gladly appreciate it if there's anything you want to see on this exactly you can always leave a comment in my down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible but this was the Allison Chambers I don't know the exact year of it I will say that now it's all I know is it's 1960 to possibly a 1974 I wasn't told the exact year of it, so I can't find anything else out about it. 
I do have the engine block, so if anybody wants to see that, that'll probably be in the next video. This is going to be part one of just a tour of the Allison Chambers B110. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. All right, I will catch you guys later. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.